Alrighty, good morning everyone and Merry Christmas Eve. Go ahead and get rid of anything that's going to give you notifications. Set it off to the side, make sure it's on silent, it's not going to bother you. Speaking of silent, we're going to do two songs that are all about the night of Christ's birth. So I figure, you know, the night before the dawn of the arrival of Christ. I don't know, it made sense. <clears throat> Let's jump into it. We're going to pray and then we'll jump into it because that's what we do here. All right. Father, we thank you for the calm before the storm. Um, it wasn't calm for Mary and Joseph trying to find a place to stay, as the story goes. And God, um, our lives aren't calm before we find you. We thank you for the great gift of your son. We thank you that we are co-heirs with Christ. This is the greatest gift to us is your life, death, and sacrifice and resurrection. Um, we pray that we would just... <clears throat> Honor that with our lives, with our time. God, we would love you excellently. It is the greatest gift is your son. Pray that we would recognize that um, not only on uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but every day of our lives, Lord, that every day your, your mercies are brand new and it is the greatest gift we will ever receive. Thank you for this time and uh, we pray this in your name. Amen.
So Merry Christmas Eve again. It's December 24th. The title for this one is The Hidden Life. The scripture comes from Colossians 3.3. 3. Your life is hidden with Christ and God. The Spirit of God testifies to and confirms the simple but almighty security of life that is hidden with Christ in God. Paul continually brought this out in his New Testament letters. We talk as if living a sanctified life were the most uncertain and insecure thing we could do. Yet, it is the most secure thing possible because it has Almighty God in and behind it. The most dangerous and unsure thing is to try to live without God. For one who is born again, it is easier to live in a right-standing relationship with God than it is to go wrong, provided we heed God's warnings and walk in the light, which is 1 John 1, 7. When we think of being delivered from sin, being filled with the Spirit, Ephesians 5, 18, and walking in the light, we picture the peak of a great mountain. We see it as a very high and wonderful, but we say, oh, I could never live up there. However, when we do get there through God's grace, we find it is not a mountain peak at all, but a plateau with plenty of room to live and grow. You enlarged my path under me, so my feet did not slip. Psalm 1836. I really like that. I don't think I've heard that before. When you really see Jesus, I defy you to doubt him. If you see him when he says, let not your heart be troubled, I defy you to worry. It is virtually impossible to doubt when he is there. Every time you are in personal contact with Jesus, his words are real to you. My peace I give to you, a peace which brings an unconstrained confidence and covers you completely. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, your life is hidden with Christ and God, and the peace of Jesus Christ that cannot be disturbed has been imparted to you. So let's read Colossians 3.3, 3, The Hidden Life. Your old life is dead. Your new life, which is your real life, even though invisible to spectators, is with Christ and God. He is your life. When Christ, your real life, remember, shows up again on this earth, you'll show up too, the real you, the glorious you. Meanwhile, be content with obscurity like Christ. And that means killing off everything connected with the, the way of death. Sexual promiscuity, impurity, lust, doing whatever you feel like whenever you feel like it, and grabbing whatever attracts your fancy. That's a life shaped by things and feelings instead of by God. It's because of this kind of thing that God is about to explode in anger. It wasn't long ago that you were doing all of that stuff and not knowing any better. But you know better now, so make sure it's all gone for good. Bad temper, irritability, meanness, profanity, dirty talk. Don't lie to one another. You're done with the old life. It's like a filthy set of ill-fitting clothes you've stripped off and put in the fire. Now you're dressed in a new wardrobe. Every item of your new way of life is custom made by the Creator, with His label on it. All the old fashions are now obsolete. Words like Jewish and non-Jewish, religious and irreligious, insider and outsider, uncivilized and uncouth, slave and free mean nothing. From now on, everyone is defined by Christ. Everyone is included in Christ. So, chosen by God for this new life of love, dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline. Be even-tempered, content with second place, quick to forgive an offense. Forgive as quickly and completely as the Master forgave you, and regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic, all-purpose garment. Never be without it. Let the peace of Christ keep you in tune with each other, in step with each other. None of, this, none of this going off and doing your own thing. And cultivate thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, the message, have the run of the house. Give it plenty of room in your lives. Instruct and direct one another using good common sense. And sing. Sing your hearts out to God. Let every detail in your lives, words, actions, whatever, be done in the name of the Master, Jesus, thanking God the Father in every step of the way. Hmm. 
All right. Well, Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you get some time to think about the immeasurable gift of Christ and what that means for you and how he has given you new life and how he has given me new life and how we are to take off the old and put it away and burn it. And he has given us new clothes, a new life, a new everything, a new soul. I pray that you would recognize that and remember that as you walk in the plateau of God's plenty. Um, that's all I've got for you today. And uh, God bless you. I hope you get to spend some time with uh, some people. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.